Good morning, people. For this one, we're going to take a look at some leaks that came out with today's update. I didn't bother waiting for a home base status report because we didn't get one last time. But if we do end up getting a home base status report, I will leave a link to it in the description. Anyways, the first thing we're going to go over is the new Save the World starter pack. And this one includes a new character I haven't seen before whose name is Tony. And the description says they're a classic throwback with style to spare. Here's what he looks like in game. And there's what he looks like from the back. Like I've mentioned before, starter packs will no longer come with heroes who have abilities. Instead, it'll just be cosmetic items from this point forward. So he's not going to have any perks or abilities. But he did come with a new back bling, which is called Ollie Oop. And there's what the back bling looks like. And he also has a pickaxe, which is a roller blade. Obviously, the starter pack is going to give you access to save the world. And if it's like the last starter pack, it'll also give you up to 1500 V-Bucks. I'm not sure when it's going to be available, but according to the leaks, that's what the new Save the World starter pack is going to look like. And it says they're a classic throwback with style to spare. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. I wasn't sure if it was a he or a she, but it looks like Epic is referring to them as they and them. I'm not sure if they're doing this on purpose. Maybe they're trying to be a little more inclusive or maybe it's just like a really feminine dude or a butch girl. I don't know. You know, it, honestly, it's none of my business, but it did cross my mind. And when I was reading through the, the comments, apparently a, a lot of other people were wondering as well. I'm leaning more towards this person being a guy. Uh, let me know in the comments what you all think. Is this a dude or a girl? Let me know in the comments what you all think. Or is it a, a they, a they, them? Or does it not matter what Tony is? Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I don't think it really matters. I'm not going to judge him either way. I mean, it would have been nice to have seen maybe Desiree or Venderman as a Save the World starter pack skin. But I mean, I guess it's cool if they introduce some new characters as well. Maybe we'll see them in a future quest line. Uh, next thing I want to go over is the new shared wallet feature. And I believe this is mainly for PlayStation users. Uh, but with today's update, V-Bucks purchased on PlayStation may now be used across platforms that support Fortnite shared wallet. So what does that mean exactly? Well, if you buy V-Bucks on Nintendo Switch, those V-Bucks will only be able to be used on Nintendo Switch. If you buy them on any other platform, you'll be able to use those V-Bucks on any of these other platforms. And when it comes to V-Bucks earned through the Battle Pass, Quest Packs, and Save the World, those will be shared on all platforms. And here are a couple of examples which may make it a little easier to understand. If you buy a thousand V-Bucks on PC, you'll see that thousand V-Bucks on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Android, and cloud gaming services, but you won't be able to see it on Nintendo Switch. If you purchase a thousand V-Bucks on Switch, obviously you're going to see the thousand V-Bucks on Switch, but you're not going to be able to see it on any other platform. And for the third example, if you buy a thousand V-Bucks on PlayStation or Xbox, and you also earn 500 V-Bucks from the Battle Pass, so in this example, the switch will only show the 500 that were earned because that's shared on all platforms. But when it comes to the thousand V bucks that you bought, that's only going to be shared on the other platforms, not on switch. In order to get the shared wallet, all you have to do is link your Fortnite account with your Epic games account. They provided two links, which I'll leave a link to in the description. If you want to link your console to your Epic games using the web, or if you prefer doing it using your console, you can use the second link. So just make sure you link your console to your Epic Games account and you should be able to share your V-Bucks on all platforms, except for any V-Bucks that were bought on Nintendo Switch. So yeah, that came out with today's update and just wanted to explain how that worked. And other PlayStation 5 news, uh, you can now enable 120 FPS while playing Fortnite on PS5. To enable it, all you have to do is go into your settings and then click on video and toggle the 120 FPS mode to on and then click apply. And it's not gonna appear if your TV doesn't support 120 frames per second. So if you don't see it, that's why. So that's how you turn it on if you're on PS5. Anyways, as of right now, the home base status report still hasn't been posted. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over last year's home base status report because it's most likely gonna be the same thing. But like I said, if they do end up releasing the home base status report i will leave a link to it in the description anyways i believe on may 22nd we'll most likely end up getting seawolf jonesy as well as the bundle bus i would recommend getting them because he's really good for buffing your shockwave ability uh, there's his abilities 
But yeah, we've already reviewed him, so I'll leave a link to that review in the description. Uh, like I said, we'll most likely get him on May the 22nd at 8 p.m. And I believe the Bundle Bus is going to be returning this week as well. And this is a weapon I definitely would recommend getting, as well as maxing out. If you would like to see some gameplay of it, be sure to check out the link that's in the description. But yeah, probably a top 5 assault rifle and save the world in my opinion so make sure you get that if you haven't gotten it already like i said home base status report hasn't been released yet but uh if it is the same thing as last year then we'll most likely get free booter ken next week on may the 29th at 8 p.m and we have reviewed him as well so if you like to see some gameplay of him and some different loadouts you can use with them be sure to check out the link that's in the description but yeah basically he has a smoke bomb that restores your shield and it'll also freeze enemies for five and a half seconds, which can be useful in certain situations. And I think that's all we're going to get next week. As for the following week, it'll most likely be Diecast Jonesy, which is a hero you're going to have to get because I would consider him to be necessary for minigun builds, which are really useful for a lot of modes, especially dungeons. So you're going to want to get him and max him out. And there are his three abilities. And I believe Chromium Ramirez is going to be returning that week as well. I don't really use her that often, but she is good, especially when it comes to weapons that have long reload times or that have small magazines or when you're using weapons that don't have reload speed perks. So she, she is really useful when it comes to those types of loadouts and there are her three abilities. But I believe we'll get Diecast Jonesy and Chromium Ramirez on June the 5th. And just a quick reminder, I believe the Scurvy Shoals Adventure season is going to end on June 19th, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we didn't get a home base stash report yet. If we do, I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description. But that's pretty much all we have to go on for now. But yeah, that pretty much sums up everything I'm going to go over. I'm going to go ahead and show some skins that were leaked on Twitter. I'm not sure what the name of all of these are. Oh, this one's a Paradigm outfit. And there's also some variants to these skins as well. Uh, this one's called the Blizzard Bomber okay yeah blizzard bomber might have to get that skin uh this next one's called prisoner jonesy and i think i may end up trying to get this one as well i think that one looks cool there's also a new pack called the volcanic assassin pack and you see all the wraps and pickaxes back bling that comes with it uh, here's another skin right here i'm not sure what this one's called or this one but here are a few other skins you can expect to see over the next few weeks uh, there's also a new crew pack variant which you can see here i think that one looks pretty cool and there's also the ollie a icon series bundle and you see the spray you also have an emoticon i believe as well as his emote you have the back bling the wrap which i believe glows or it could be reactive you also have the glider the pickaxe and the skin and there are variants to the Allier skin. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, here's another picture of it. And yeah, here, here are the variants. But yeah, even as of right now, the home base stash report still isn't out. So I, I tried waiting for it, but I'm pretty sure we went over everything that's gonna be included in it. If they do end up coming out with some new information, like I said, I will be leaving a link to the home base status report if they do end up posting it but like i said we didn't get a home base status report last time so i'm not sure if they're gonna stop sending those out but i still wanted to give y'all a heads up as to what you can expect to see over the next few weeks i believe it's going to be sea wolf jonesy and bundle bus after him i believe it's going to be free Buddha ken and then the week after that it'll be diecast jonesy and chromium ramirez but yeah that sums up everything we're going to go over for this one be sure to follow on Twitch if you haven't already. Uh, join our Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And use code A1 if you plan on purchasing anything from the item shop. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching.